What's up, y'all? Today we're talking about Dennis Rodman, but let's backtrack because last time I did something on Magic Johnson, Magic actually responded. I don't know if he was trying to fact check me or if he was showing love, but hey, I take it all with a grain of salt. But back to the main show, we're here to talk about Dennis Rodman. NBA legend Dennis Rodman played one game in Finland back in 2005. It was a crazy story. He was 44 years old, and the crazy part was he said at halftime he hadn't touched the ball for three months. And y'all be swearing folks leave the league and turn into shooters, and y'all might be right. Robin took six threes in the first half, another seven in the second half, and finished five of 13 from the three-point line. The game was a one-off, but it was crazy how it came about. The GM actually met Rodman at a bar, asked his agent what the price, and they paid him $100,000 to play one game. But let's get a little deeper into the story, though, because it's definitely worth it. So the whole time, they weren't really sure if Rodman was going to show up. I imagine this from the time the GM met Rodman to the time that they, he actually came and played the game, there was some distance between that. However, he did end up showing up. They said the first night that he got there, <laughs> they went to a nightclub um, and they said it was crazy. Obviously, there were a bunch of women around and they said that Rodman kind of... Uh, <laughs> And they said that Rodman had the, uh, the, the VIP kind of set up like a, the opening of a construction site, as he was quoted. They said Rod Rodman was a man of very few words, but they said once he was in the nightclub, he was more in his element. So all this was going on like the night before the game. So they said that they finished at like 4 a.m. And then the next day, he didn't show up to shoot around. I guess he had some media arrangements and he showed up to the gym at one o'clock, but the game wasn't until like three hours later. So he left and then he was supposed to come back. They still weren't sure if he was gonna come back, but then I guess he confirmed that he was coming back. So when he comes back, uh, the coach tries to talk to him. The coach said Rodman was very short, you know, clearly he was just there to play and uh, go on about his business. Uh, he said Rodman was definitely out of shape, which you can see from the tape, you know, there were some clips there, you know, Rodman wasn't the typical Rodman, but again, he was 44 years old. Like, what do you expect? He was probably just in town, you know, I know he had a book coming out at that time, so he's probably doing a book tour and things of that nature. Um, but it was just funny because uh, there was one quote um, that I read and they said that the the coach at one point during the uh, at one point during the timeout, he asked him to run horns and Rodman's response was on offense or defense. And uh, as you know, Horns is probably one of the most common plays ever. So uh, I think Rodman's mind was definitely not on the game. How would you rate your performance in the first half? At least we got a sore knee, right? It sucks right now. It sucks. But uh, right now, you know, I haven't touched the ball in three months. So it's like pretty good, but it sucks that we can do better, better job in the second half. And you're actually not a teenager anymore. But I mean, do you still have some serious plans about playing basketball? If I want to, yes. If I want to, if we've been 44 years old, come out here and compete with these guys. I think I'm doing a pretty good, pretty good damn job. But, but like I said, I'm here to have a good time with you guys here, and uh, hopefully we win. Have you had a good time so far? Finland is good. Finland's always good, and uh, this, this is, it's, it's not about me. It's about this team here. So that's what I'm here for. All right. Finally, Dennis. I mean, you played with the best, yeah. probably on the best team ever back in '95, '96 with Michael and Co. Um, why this? Why this one-off game here in Finland? It's just fun. I, I love it. I love being on the floor. I love entertaining, and the people here don't get to see guys like me play. So they asked me to come over. I said, okay, great. I come over. I love the city. The city's good. All right. Thanks for this, and good luck. Good, baby. Good. <laughs> All right, Dennis, how was the experience? It was good. It was good. I got a start out of it, so it's all good. Thanks to Alexa right here, man, bringing me in. Too bad we lost, but uh, it was a good game. So what will we be the next game? I mean, are you pursuing your career in basketball after this? Oh, no, we'll see. We'll see what he, we'll see. See, thanks next time. So, But uh, defending, you guys have been good to me. It's all good. I'll be back. So if you got up the night up coming up here in Helsinki, are you going to spend, spend that on sleeping? Yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Go ahead. All right, thanks for this. Uh, he took a lot of shots that game, and uh, but it was a great atmosphere for Finland and uh, for Finland basketball. I know the fans and the uh, and the players as well were um, you know very excited to have him there. He spent a lot of time signing autographs and giving jerseys away. They said teammates even took his shoelaces. <laughs> But uh, yeah, and then after the game, they said, of course, they went to a restaurant and they went to party. And um, yeah, you know how the night probably carried on after that. 
But the crazy thing is, is like, because of Dennis Rodman, and we all know how Rodman is or how he was portrayed in the media, at least, you know, you had Finnish Media Magazine was talking pretty down on him about his behavior with women and things like that um, as he was going on about his business during the night, um, which I thought that was kind of a little classless in a sense. Like, you know who Dennis Rodman is and you can't sit here and expect him to just come here and act like a saint. Like, he's very vocal about who he is. He's very vocal that he does not care what other people think. But I think it was very interesting. Um, it was dope that he came. This same team and this same GM was also the one that ended up bringing Scottie Pippen, uh, I think, the two years later, two years after, he brought Scottie Pippen to come play in Finland as well. And um, yeah, it, it's kind of funny because because of this GM, he's gotten, you know, I read some negative remarks about him and what he did. And, you know, honestly, I think what he was doing was pretty innovative. And, you know, if you think about it, you know, to bring an NBA legend, even if it's for a game or two, I mean, they had a, a record sellout when Dennis Rodman was there. So, you know, if you understand the, the business structure of these overseas teams, you know, they rely heavily on merchandise ticket sales, sponsorships, and things of that nature. So I think bringing an NBA player that's going to give you a quick boost in those sales, why not? It might it might be worth it, you know, especially if it's only going to cost you a game or two. Okay, the game that they played with Dennis, yeah, they lost the game, but um, I'd sacrifice a win if I'm going to end, end up on the positive on the other end. So you know, uh, he, he didn't last uh, as a general manager, but I think that, uh, you know, it's definitely a cool story to tell. And it's definitely innovative. You know, when you think back to 2005 was when this happened, I thought it was a, a very innovative move. And I'm pretty sure he was, you know, inspired by the uh, by the Magic Johnson uh, fiasco and, uh, and and everything going on there. So, uh, yeah. That's the end of uh that's the end of Dennis's story and uh stay tuned and see who's uh who's up next. Tarpeeksi yrit. Tiki by Kakkonen. Oli jo jalka oli jo jalka oli viivalla eli Kakkonen Rodmanin saa. Kyllä samassa harjoituksessa monta kertaa onnistunut näin, mutta tota niin tänä tänä tuntuu putoava tällä Helsingin jäähallissa. Mutta hyvä näin saadaan hieman jännitystä Rodmanille. Ei lähde heti heittämään ajaa korille. Siellä ei nyt aikuna oli nätti syöttö keskellä, mutta Cummings sepallo etu rautaan. Siinä pelasi kyllä Todella viihdyttää yleisöä, jota on siis paikalla hieman yli seitsemän.